path form back to SharePoint. Um, right now I have a InfoPath form. Uh, pretty much I converted a Word timesheet into InfoPath. And real quickly how I did was how I did that was I simply opened up InfoPath, clicked on import form import form, specified the location to a timesheet or my Word timesheet, and simply clicked on finish. What it does now is just simply converts the formatting and whatnot to InfoPath, and here we have our form. So I'm just going to close this down since we already have my form already here. Uh, the other steps are, is you need to go to Tools once you have your InfoPath form, and you need to go to Form Options, and you need to ensure that um, the trust level is set to full, and that your, there's a uh, digital certificate signed or self-signed for this form and you need to ensure that the compatibility um, for for the form to be opened in a browser is specified. So I've already filled out these areas so this is the location of my um, my web my my SharePoint site and pretty much those are the only sections that you need to ensure that these settings are specified for, for this form to be compatible within SharePoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply save this again, and then we're going to publish this form back to SharePoint. It's going to open up this wizard, uh, where we want to publish back to SharePoint. Um, we're going to specify the, the location where my web, or my SharePoint is um, existing on, which is this URL here. Click Next. And then we need to ensure that enable the form to be filled out by a browser is checked off, which will thus make this an administrator approved form. We click on next. And then we need to specify the location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add this form to a shared location. I'm just going to create a folder here called publish forms. And then I'm simply going to navigate to my desktop. And I am going to drag and copy this InfoPath form that we just published or just saved from my desktop into this share. And then I'm going to specify the share location as the form I would like to publish. And this section will allow us to add columns into SharePoint based on the fields within the form. Um, we're going to bypass this for time's sake. And we're going to simply publish this form. So what it's doing now is sending the form or converting the form and making sure it's compatible within SharePoint, which it looks like it is. And then now within SharePoint, we need to go to Application Management and then go to Upload Form Template. And then we need to browse and look for this form. So we are going to specify the the network lo the network location where we had this form. Okay, publish forms. I'm going to click on open there. And first and foremost, we want to make sure that we verify the form to make sure there's no errors. So we just click on verify here, and it looks like we have no errors, which is good. And now we're going to navigate back to that form template again, and we're going to upload. So now we're uploading this form into SharePoint and it looks like it's successful and pretty much we're almost done so now what we need to do is we need to pretty much activate this form to the site collection where we want to use the form so we're just going to click on its drop down click on activate to site collection and I'm just going to make sure that I have the proper web application well, here it is and we're going to publish it to the root and then we click OK. 
Okay, so now we've activated the form. So now everything that we need to do in central administration is completed. Now all we need to do is go to our our, our uh, team site and we need to pretty much add this form to the document library. So here's my team site and I already have a library here called Team uh, Timesheets. And all I do is go into the Timesheets document library, settings, document library settings, and there's a section here called content type. Now by default you won't see that. How you see that is you need to go to advanced and then you need to turn on or allow management of content types. Change that from no, which is the default, to yes. So I've already done that. So I'll click cancel. And this is once you click on yes to allow content types, you'll see this new section. So we're going to click on add from existing content types and we're going to click on the drop down of the site content types we're going to see a special content type called info path and here we are here we have our timesheet template we're going to click add drag it over to the content types to add section click OK and then now we have our new content type which we can now use and we can now create info path based timesheets so let's go back to our timesheet document library. Let's click on new and now here we have our new timesheet. So it's just prompting us with a potential security issue because it's a self-signed certificate that we specified earlier. Just click OK. And here we have our form. Um, so this is how it looks like when it opens up in InfoPath 2007. But if you remember, we specified this form to be browser enabled. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to a server or a computer that does not have any office. And we'll take a look and see how this document looks. So I'm just going to refresh this. So again, here's our web app. Here's our site. And here's the timesheet. And now I'm going to try to open it up from this location. And remember, this box does not have Office 2007. So the form is just going to open up in the browser because we turned it and we made it a browser enabled form. So here we have our form. And again, as you can see, it's complete within, completely within the browser and powered by InfoPath Form Services, which is a function available in Moss 2007. And I'm just going to fill out some information here. Hopefully there's no validators. So I can just continue going on here without any type of checks. And, and what I'll do is I'll simply save this. It's going to prompt us to give it a name. And we'll call it timesheet for September. And I'll click Save. And pretty much there we have it. Um, now if we close this box, or close this browser, or close the form, the web-based form, we now see our instance of the timesheet that we just created on in within the InfoPath browser. And pretty much that's it. That's how easy it is to publish InfoPath forms to SharePoint. So you no longer have to use a Word document and whatnot and send it via email and um, have multiple different versions of that document running around. You just have one single location for your template and all information and all everything that you submit will go back to this one single document library. Okay, hope you found it useful. Thank you.